Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the order imbalance to see AMC price go up, how Shorts wants to buy, and many more in the video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. So straight away, we're going to be taking a look. Now, AMC was down 36%. However, Fidelity buy orders total 81% of all orders on AMC. Sell orders were only 19% of all AMC volume on Fidelity. Sounds like more shorting to me by hedges. Excuse me while I buy more calls. Thank you, Shorts, for the deal. Now, we're obviously talking and referring to the previous day where we're down 36%. We're down another 5%. But the reason why I want to talk about this and, again, uh, re readdress it is, of course, understanding the buy order and the sell order difference and seeing the order imbalance as we had buy orders of 81 and sell orders are only 19 yet we saw the price drop over 36 percent so the reason for this is obviously because of the sell order imbalance now check it out the sell order imbalance of 115,000 today with all that naked short selling today they couldn't find a counterpoint seller to match these sales the corruption never ends in here again just seeing all of these sales and we're seeing the order the sell imbalance again and, and now this is the most important part so understanding that typically with more buyers and sellers which is known as the order imbalance on the buy side the stock price will go up and if there are more sellers than buyers known as the order imbalance on the sell side the price will go down now this is obviously very very obvious when there are more buyers the price should go up when there are more sellers the price should go down again i'm sure this is pointing out the obvious so exactly what you see take a look at what is happening with a sell order imbalance of 115,000. with again uh you know buy order having 81 percent sell orders having 19 percent understanding that on the, the on the normal circumstances the price should be going up for amc and that's exactly why when we see the price of amc dropping we know that isn't done with people selling we know that that's because of the immense amount of over leveraging shorting amc and that's why we are seeing this drop and that's why i want to address it everyone thinking that people have sold everyone thinking that the 40 million shares that is being issued has already been sold when in fact it hasn't which we have covered and so understand that that is not the case but rather with shorting in amc so how does that reflect to why shorts want to buy well first we can see from wolfie they are exhausting the money being made on the way down and they intend on making money all the way back up is what they do never under underestimate the attraction of apes loyal shareholders there's now far more money to be made on the price increase than price decline so obviously we're seeing amc at eight dollars twelve here and again if we account this for pre-split that's actually eight cents now you know this is meaning that if you were to short amc from now the max it can go down is of course 80 cents if we again taking a look at the pre-split price or if we take a look at this current prices of course eight dollars yet with the upside we can easily make over 30 40 50 dollars per share and that's again on the very very easy upside i'm talking the most uh, you know blatant obvious upside ever and so what shorts want to do and this is something we have discussed is in the past as well is they know that they can't cover in the current shares right now they can't cover the short positions they have right now but not only that what they have to also account for is the billions of synthetics they have created so what we have talked about and the possibility in the past that we have discussed is of course the fact that they actually want to make their money with the squeeze along with the squeeze meaning that they want to buy into the shares they want to hedge for this position so that some when they do obviously have to pay for the squeeze price they either a paying themselves or minimize their loss by of course also recovering and again we have to understand that there will inevitably be firms that just can't recover from this they will go bankrupt aka some of the biggest short sellers in amc i'm not going to be naming names but of course we all know the few that are at the very top but there are short sellers who have dug a hole really deep but they because they're not as big as again the big firms to but yeah so that they can recover and that's what we have to understand and that's why they want to bring the money that's why they want to bring the price down because a very obvious example is 77 dollars down to 77 cents seems like enough of a retrace and gaps have been filled how are shorts winning if they haven't closed their positions they won't even buy back shares at all-time lows when will they share sold uh, but not yet purchases in the billions easy hold so you know i think this is a very obvious thing 
if and if you were to put yourself in the situation, if you were shorting a stock and you've managed to short it from 77 down to 77 cents, so from 77 dollars to 77 cents, would you not want to cover these positions? You see, in your unrealized profit, you're in the profit by hundreds of millions, if not billions. Would you not want to close your positions? The answer is, of course you would. So why is it at times like this, with of course cost of borrow being high as well, or previously with cost of borrow being high, and at times like this, why are they not covering? That's because they can't. That's because they firstly can't buy back the shares for many reasons. Firstly, no shares available for them to buy. We are not selling. Hence why, again, when you take a look at the price dropping, it isn't because people are selling, it's because they are shorting. Secondly, Another reason is, of course, if they were to buy, it would most likely be that they will cover all their positions and the real price of AMC will be shown. And that's not what they want because we can call out on the corruption once that happens. And so there are so many reasons for why they haven't covered. But one thing for sure is that the profit they are seeing right now isn't real profit because of so many different factors. And that's why they continuously shut down AMC because they're trying to get people to sell. They're trying to give the impression that people are selling so that people who don't understand what's going on will sell their shares and then they can start buying. That's the impression, but when in reality is the fact that the price drop isn't from people selling, but rather from people shorting. You know, when again, why are they attacking the CEO? Is the shorts that are manipulating the damn stock, not the man who brought multiple avenues of making money for AMC? Ask yourself why that is their narrative. Now, it's the course division. I know what I hold. My conviction is mine and cannot be swayed. Now, again, everyone has their own personal opinion. If you guys think, you know, whoever is at fault here, is obviously up for you guys to decide. But what we have to understand is that regardless of what is happening right now, we have to understand that the price dropping, again, you guys can obviously be mad at if you guys think there are management issues, if you guys think the structure is bad, etc, etc. However, we have to understand that the core of the price dropping is due to shorting and nothing else. That is the reason why we are seeing the price dropping. And we know that because we see it from the buy orders, we see it from the sell orders, we see it from the order imbalance. That is why the price are dropping. And so that is my only opinion. If you guys want to, of course, um, you know, dislike whoever is up to you. But again, I don't think it's um, Anna Aaron's fault. I don't think it's any individual's fault. Rather, it's the institution's fault for, of course, shorting AMC. Now, here's an article from January 5th, 2021, where AMC reached its then all-time low of $10.35. Adam Aaron stated that AMC's situation in a nutshell, since, uh, saying since theaters closed and our revenue went to zero overnight. Essentially saying the reason why AMC went to $10 was because of zero revenue because um, all the theaters were closed. And so since, he said since theaters closed and our revenue went to zero overnight. And this was the all-time low of $10.35. Now, bear in mind, now we are at $8.12, and this is after split, this is post split, so we are way below that low. And so, when you take a look at this, and you understand what it's happening right now, two years ago, AMC dropping to an all-time low because of COVID, makes sense. Zero revenue, company price go down, makes 100% sense, I'm sure everyone can agree on that. Now, now, AMC has been profitable, so at the very least, you know, or at least even even if AMC weren't profitable, if AMC at least had revenue, we can still see at the very minimum, it should be above the all time low. This is very, very simple because if they had zero revenue and wanted $10, that means if AMC has revenue, it should be at the very minimum $10. What has changed in the past two years with AMC improving and the price going down? What has changed? Of course, the billions of synthetics that I have created. And so again, this is a very clear example of why we're seeing the price drop because it doesn't make sense that when AMC is now, of course, um, you know, having new concession, having new attendance rec uh, records, having so many multiple um, streams of revenue, how is it that we are still at, um, how is it we're below $10? How is it that we've gone way below $10 pre-split because of the fact that they want to bankrupt AMC. You know, another thing that we can see is, holy shit, Merit AMC still being traded on Terra blockchain nine days ago, swapped for $38 million worth. So we're still seeing these transactions happening off um, in the crypto in, again, the blockchain. And previously when this happened, it was because shorts needed a way to, of course, get um, recover from 
their losses. It was because shorts needed a way to, of course, locate shares uh, through a very illegal, or in my opinion, illegal method. And the reason why they need to do that is because if they don't, they will obviously be in big trouble. And now we're seeing the same thing happening again. So to me, this looks like a signal of the fact that shorts are again struggling um, you know, for AMC shares, they're struggling to locate shares. And we know that because of FTDs, we know that because of the fact that no one is selling and that they have not covered the shorts that they should have covered if they're in billions of profit. And so, you know, right now, whilst the price may reflect the fact that we are seeing the price drop, it may reflect the fact of a negative, um, you know, pessimistic um, sentiment. But we have to understand is that no one is actually selling their shares. As always, none of the financial advice I do take a second of salt. I'll catch you guys next time.